But let's go check the fruit bat cave for nothing. Well, this feels for a very Welcome to summer, everybody. Welcome, welcome, and welcome. What do we got going on today? All right, very happy spirits. First day of the season. That is exciting. Good to see it. Good to have it. Good to live it. What do we got? Clear and sunny day and living up the land. The summer's here. New crops. Oh, there's hops. Vines take a while to grow, but they can be harvested every day. Excellent. And we have lots of copper right there. Stack that. Okay, now. We need 10 of these for Clint. Right, we, just have, we do it to show it to him, right? On delivery. Yes, okay. And uh, I don't think we're going to have the money to upgrade anything else. I would like to upgrade something else, but I don't see it happening. Right. Well, we can put the weapons away. Sort of organize that group there. Step on over here. What do we might need today? We might need those things. We can go pick up our hoe in just a second over at Clint's, which is perfect because we need to get over into town today anyway and go shopping for seeds. Hello, chicken. Other chicken, where have you gone? Yeah, I saw you. There you are. <laughs> it's an invisible chicken. Invisible chicken, unite! <laughs> Robin is hard at work today. <laughs> Building our barn. We did plant a bunch of trees, as you will notice. We got some more volunteer trees. That is a volunteer also. And so is that. All right. Well, let's go check the fruit bat cave for nothing. Well, this feels familiar, very familiar indeed. <laughs> oh, man. I really want to upgrade the axe. That's one of my goals here super early. Let's just run around the farm real fast. Grab a couple of these. Look over here for just a second. Uh, break some of this. we got to... Clear off a little bit more room here. Sorry, blue grass, you're in the way. Same thing over here. Just gotta clear off a little, little space, and then we need to chop down these trees. And if we, I guess if we need to expand, we're expanding left. We're gonna expand our crop left instead of right. Although maybe right does make more sense. I don't think it matters. We'll go a direction. Yeah, perfect. Let's get rid of those. Okay. You are also a bonus. And we don't need that there. Quick stack a couple things here. And there. Are we, what, do we out of seed? Really? We're out of seeds, huh? Okay, well, that is what it is, I suppose. And we're off as soon as we do this. And have some water. There you are, friend. Tiger the cat doing a great job. Living the life, living the dream on the farm. Good stuff. Mm. Oh, that tasty fake coffee. Oh, yeah, good times. Let's look. We have a couple days till a birthday, all right? Maru's coming, Gus. Some kind of trout thing. Bookseller is way late in the month. And a wheat. I don't think I have a way to do that. That I know of. I don't know of a way to buy one, and certainly given the start of the season, we have no way to grow one that quickly, so... Oh boy, a newspaper! Look at that! The most exciting find of our lives right there, friends. A newspaper. Oh, I can't get that. <laughs> I was like, oh, artifact spot. Never mind. Alright, here we go. 
You brought the ores I requested. Thank you. I like to inspect the local ores from time to time to keep track of quality and abundance. Take a look. Hmm, yes, I see. Thank you. You can keep them. They are of decent quality. Here's your payment. Oh, thank you. I will take that 255 and my item. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, Clint. And we got a ticket. The ticket we can take to the community center. But do we want to? Do we want to? I'm not sure. We do need to take that to the community center as well. What's what's next in the ticket here? We got. Hmm. You know what? I think I will take that. All right. Now, what flavor of sampling are you? An orange sampling. Well, here's the thing. That's not useful to me. <laughs> because, like, we'll plant it, but we will get zero, zero items from it. Hello, Gus. Yeah, I know a lot about the people living here. It's one of the benefits of being a bartender. Sometimes I hear too much. It's probably true. Summer's here. It's not really my favorite season. The air is muggy. I feel like floating in soup. I love animals. If you treat yours well, we'll become good friends. Okay, great. So what do we need? Uh, I'm going to assume like kind of a little bit of everything, huh? Uh, let's go with 20 of those. We're going to go with... Uh, 8 sounds good there. 9? Oh, those are cheap, so we can probably do... Let's do like 18. <sighs> do we need to grow wheat for anything? I'm not sure. Peppers will do. Blueberries, all the blueberries. Blueberries are joy, life, and love. Uh, hang on. Nine, eight. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Tomatoes. Melons. Twenty-four melons. That sounds good. Um. Did I just not buy? Yeah, we should at least buy some, right? Do we go for more blueberries? That's a lot of watering. All right, let's let's step up our game here. Twenty-four there. Twenty-four there. Where's the radishes? Twenty-four there. All right, we're going to go in groups of eight. So I, what I'm hoping is that we can get some uh, sprinklers before the end of the season. All right, that leaves us with 3K. I mean, that feels okay. We should be able to get some cows with that, hopefully, right? That's still going to be an awful lot to water every day. We're going to have to rely a little bit, at least, on... You know what? We don't have time to go up there today. We gotta go plant. Um, we have to rely at least a little bit on um, mayonnaise for energy as we have been doing. I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Like, that's not an issue. It's just we're gonna have to do it. Definitely gonna need that. All right. Here we go. You know, we should probably make another Scarecrow, actually, real quick. Well, I'm thinking of that. And I don't know. We need coal, do we? Let's make a couple. Just to make sure, you know, we're covered there. We'll make some iron bars as well, real fast. Get that taken care of. Toss that in there. Uh, we are going to grab that sweet pea out, sweet pea out later. It's not right now. And where do I want to put this fruit tree? That's a great question. I am not sure. Now, at least I do feel like I can kind of move them. So that's good. Let's put you here for now. Right. And then how do we want to do this? 
It's a great question. Okay, so groups of... That's three, two, and that's another three. All right, so we can do this. I like that, and then there's another row, there's a row, and then a double row. Yes, and then over here we can take this row. Right? So that's enough for 32. So let's just keep this row going. That's an easy row to kind of keep going. And then this one too. And then this row can go away entirely. Then if we get sprinklers, they'll have another sprinkler on that row. And over here, we can get rid of this. All right. I mean, it's, you know, I don't know, it's kind of awkward, but there we are. Just clear some more grass and stuff. Sorry, blue grasses. But I need to be over here by the water, so you're just going to have to kind of kind of deal with it here. Just going to clear a bunch of this off. Get rid of this tree. What is that? That's 64. See, in some of our crops, we're going to... I don't know. It's going to be interesting how we're going to have to do this, I think. Yep. Right. Well, anyway, we will get that sorted. So, row here and a row here. And then a row there and a row over here. Do, 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 do. Isn't, this is like the most exciting part of Starter, really, isn't it? Like first year you're kind of planning out you know how you're going to do stuff and where things are going to go to a certain extent and how you want to how you want to do it where you want to grow things yeah, it's always entertaining all right so with 24 let's do let's do these first all right blueberry time it is get these planted okay so we do have enough that we can do five of these little groups. So be careful where we put it. All right. And then let's do... Yeah, let's do the peppers. 24 peppers. Very good. And then we'll do the corn. I'm trying to do all the stuff that's, like, gonna repeat, you know? All the things that are repeating, I would like to have sort of together. And eight of you will just go around in a... S Ooh, boy. I think we're just going to have to water these regardless. Because I want it to be like that. So. Right. And then... We go this way. Like this. And that's what, another three? So that's... Is that 24, right? Should be. There we go. Get our radishes planted. Good times. Now, do I have a recipe? Do I have fertilizer? I can make fertilizer. Okay, let's go grab some sap then real fast. I'm having a thought. Maybe what we ought to do is make fertilizer for the melons. We have 24 melons. Oh, I forgot about the tomatoes. Yeah, that's true. All right. So we need 24. And then I think let's do another 24 because we had, we got corn down there. And we should, hopefully, I mean, I know this only works, I think it is on the first harvest, right? But if we can encourage the corn to give us some 
golden corn. That would really be nice. Okay, now back to what we were doing. We need another group of three. And I think we're going to put this other scarecrow over on this side. And hopefully that'll be enough coverage. I might need another scarecrow. I, I might need to move a scarecrow here. We might need to move a scarecrow. Fortunately, we have scarecrows that are able to be moved, so... No problems there. Alright, speaking of moving things, get all this out of the way. We're doing okay on energy, we just have to make sure we don't have time to actually water crops, too. Away with you, trees! You're in the way! Thank you for your kind seed donation, however. Right, right, this, like that. Go here, and then we'll go across. Okay, melons. I say three of these should be 16, so we need one more. So we'll do that over here. And then we'll do tomatoes up there. And then we just have wheat left, which is not as pressing. All right. Yeah. Hey, oh, beautiful. This is working out very well. What did I miss? I missed one somewhere. There it is. Okay. So we do three and then three like that. Perfect. And that is enough for the wheat. Now, all we got to do is water everything. Make sure that we actually plant all the wheat. All right. Here we go. So that's going to be a lot to water. Um, like I said, I hope that we will be able to get to some sprinklers fairly quickly. We're just going to have to spend some time in the mines and hope for a couple rainy days. Once we get, uh, once we get a couple rainy days in, it really won't be that bad. And we won't have to dig up all that ground again. So, perfect. This really shouldn't be that bad. Should we be able to get all this watered here and to bed, like, in just about perfect time. So, what is this going to be? Uh, I'm going to guess this is going to be, like, a can and a Two, like two, two cans, just over two, two and a half cans of watering. Hillhelm, watch where you're aiming. All right, the melons are watered for sure. That's great. I missed one. It's all right. We'll grab it in a second. I like that. Okay, go up, go up. Down. Gonna be close here. What were these other ones? Peppers, right? Not so bad then. It's actually using less energy than I thought it would. That's a good sign. It's just that it's getting very late. Okay. And perfect. That's taken care of. I'm going to plant this. Uh, I would love to plant the sapling, but we might just hold on to it until... Until we can get uh, into the greenhouse. And I'm not sure how long that's going to take. But that's my hope anyway. We will hold on it. We will hold on planting that until then. Okay. Do I put this in the chest? Put any of you in the chest. Um, No, I think we'll keep all the tools out for now. And we'll go to sleep. Perfect. Yes, sleeping. Wonderful. Well, hello there.
The mystery boxes are arriving. Now, is that a seasonal thing or? Like, what's the trigger for that? Earning a certain amount of money or? I don't know. I don't know. That fake coffee, though. Pretty tasty. Clear and sunny. Okay. Somewhat annoyed spirits. Ugh, that's not a helpful thing for me. All right, the barn is ready. Perfect. Now we just need some animals to put in there. <laughs> and uh, we'll be doing good. So is that what we spend the rest of our money on? Do we just go and grab a couple cows? We're going to have to go fishing for... Oops. We're going to have to go fishing for money here in a little bit. And also catching all the summertime fish. And I can never remember if those fish are catch them while it's raining or not fish. So there's that. And but today being a lower luck day, maybe we do try our hand at fishing because going to the mine, we're not going to get a lot of staircases very easily. And then there is always... I guess we could also, instead of getting the animals right away, we could go and upgrade the axe, which is needed also. So, hmm. Let's think about that one for a minute, shall we? Uh, let's pros and cons it. Uh, if we get the animals, we have to feed the animals, which we can do. We have a silo and lots of food. There's plenty of grass around. I would like to move the barn to a place that has more grass, or at least is near grass. But I don't really feel like I have the time to mess around building a bunch of gates and fences for the animals yet. So I'm just going to kind of let them do whatever they want, I suppose. I would like to move the barn, though, for sure. Just got to figure out where I want to put it. I'm thinking on the left-hand side of the farm. But really, in order to do that, I would like to have the, the warp thing. What's that thing called? The mini obelisk? Yeah, that's the word. That's the appropriate name. Boy, it's a lot nicer having water right by the right by where you got all your crops, isn't it? Yeah, now fishing will put me behind slightly on trying to get sprinklers. That's true. So that also bears some thought, I guess. There's always more optimized ways of doing things than the ways that I end up doing them. But you know what? In the end, we get there. Chicken, how dare you give me a not super egg? What's up with that? That is not okay. Right. Uh, fishing rod. I will take you. We'll put the rest of that away. Now, do I want to... Uh, I think... I think I do, because I, I do want to get to lightning rods fairly quickly, and to do that, we need more... We need more forging experience. Look at that, we're already a heart and a half there with the cat. Oh, kitty cat, you need water. Also, where are you? Where did you go? The cat has become a ninja. Are you here? No. Has anybody seen the cat today? <laughs> I've lost the cat somewhere on the farm. Uh, these are also needing to be planted, and what I think I'll do here is we'll just utilize some of this space uh, right up front, and we'll just put them there. I think we'll just even, we'll only do three even. Because then I can just do this. Ta-da! Great. Uh, I suppose we'll just take a couple regular mayos with us. All right. Off we go then. Oh, you know... Hmm. How many do I have in here? I don't need these at all for the community center, really? Are we sure? No? Okay. Do I have regular ones too? I do. 
Let's take those with us. And you know what? I don't I don't know. I think they're set by the day that you get them, not by the day you open them. But today is low luck. So just in case, we're going to leave them. I can never remember how that works either. You would think after like a thousand hours in this game. I would remember some of those things. But, you know, honestly, I, it just doesn't stick. I look it up. I double check it. I look it up again. It just doesn't stay in my head. Oh, okay, we got a mountain warp. Well, that's entertaining. Boom. Boom. Is this the same? I want a wheat. Okay. Four carp. Uh, you know what? I don't think carp are worth my time, actually. I think if I could actively try to not catch carp, that's honestly what I would do. I'm just saying. How do I make some of this stuff? By what do I need for this? Iron, coral, urchins. Oh, we got to get the thing open. We need 300 wood. So we need right. Uh, did I not? I didn't bring any. Okay. Yep. Upgrade. Thank you. It's 300 for that, huh? All right. Well, we're going to go start where we always start, which is fishing over in the river. First day of fishing in the season. I've been kind of beautiful shells in front of my house. But imagine rarer varieties are quite valuable. Uh, always, I always start in the river, and then, uh, we usually, then I usually do the ocean and then the lake, or the lake and then the ocean. Depends on the weather at that point. But river, the river tends to be first. I don't know why. That just is what I tend to do. Hello there, fish. How are you today? What do you got for me? You got a perfect catch. Oh, goodness gracious. That's excellent. You know what? We're just going to have this now. Because we're pretty low. Run this. Put this over here. Chubb gives us, what, like 60, isn't it? Yeah. Not bad. I will take a 60 energy fish as my first catch of the day. Elliot, I hope you're not coming to stand where I'm standing. That might get awkward for both of us. A perfect catch. A sunfish. Hey, Elliot, how you doing, bud? How's the beach life treating you? Got a nice breeze down there at night, kind of keep the heat away? No, it is always cooler on the on the ocean and on the lake, usually, compared to inland temperatures, because of all the, all the ocean breezes. How about a rainbow trout? How about that game? You wanna, you wanna share one of those with me? I'd really appreciate it. That is a pike. That is not at all a rainbow trout. However, they are all iridium, so that's good. There's a chest. Alright, I don't think we're going to get a perfect catch and the chest. Sad to say. I had hope. I had hope for a minute, but no. Alright, what do you got? Deluxe bait. Hooray for deluxe bait. Everybody clap your hands for deluxe bait. Clap, 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 clap. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, that was, that was spicy. There we go. There's one. That's what we want to see. A rainbow trout. Oh, hello there. You are feisty. Oh, 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 oh boy. Ooh, that, oh, oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yep, no, gotta focus, gotta focus. Gotta be a pike. Only a pike moves this ridiculously in the summer, pretty sure. My goodness, my goodness. I was wrong, it was a Dorado! We caught a Dorado. Hooray for us. 
A Dorado just like a goldfish. <laughs> the irony of that would be amazing. No, it's not. It's really its own fish. I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay, more sunfish. We're not what we're shooting for. We're shooting for the rainbow trout here. That's really what we want. We would like a rainbow trout. As many as possible, please. Oh, boy. Oh, oh another very excited fish here. Yep, please. Also, no treasure chest. That would be sad for me. Because I would want to then try and get the treasure chest, and then that, you know, it just, it just might not work out well. Okay, it might not, it might not go well. Oh my goodness. Okay, 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 fish. Listen. You need to just not. All right, there we go. <laughs> Dorado are tricky. Tricky Dorados. How dare you be tricky. Fishing is supposed to be my thing in this game. That's all I'm saying. All right, see, now a chest would be great. Huh? Chest? No? Okay. A lot of sunfish today. It's okay. As long as we just catch a bunch of fish in general, it'll be fine. That's all we need to do. We just need a lot of fish. Period. Ah, yes. More chubs. Otherwise known as more energy. Uh, by the way, if you really want to sort of like uh, get so easy energy, I guess I would call it. Simple energy. Um, put out some crab pots on your farm uh, and convert anything that's called fish. So like uh, was it snails? I think count as fish. It's little periwinkle things. Uh, convert those once you get a kitchen into sashimi. You get a nice 75 energy, I think it is from that. It's uh just you're taking something that's almost worthless and getting something good out of it. Running low on energy. Bum bum bum. We're gonna eat that gold chub in just a second. That's what we're gonna do. I keep I keep uh, remembering this. We were talking about it on Discord. And uh, there's, a, there's a program you can get. I don't remember the name off the top of my head. But there's a program you can get. And what it does is it puts up an overlay of the controller on the screen, like on OBS. Which, of course, you can put wherever and resize and, you know, all that stuff. But it shows your button presses. So people always ask about fishing, you know, and how I do it and whatever. And I'm like, well, I could, I guess, show that sometime if anyone really wants to see it. Um, I think it's more important earlier on than when your fishing bar is this huge. Once your bar gets this big, it's really, it's really not as bad to catch things is what I'm saying. You, I, I guess that would be more... More useful maybe early in a playthrough where your fishing bar is still very tiny. But anyway, if anybody ever wants to see that, let me know and maybe I'll... Maybe I'll uh, figure out a way to make that happen. Drop a comment on that one. Definitely a focus on sunfish here. We've only gotten one rainbow trout. That's not very many rainbow trouts. Bye, Elliot. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed the fishing. Hope it inspires you to have a good day. All right. The game was inspired to give us a second rainbow trout, and I am all about that life. So deluxe bait just mean you get a catch faster, right? That's all that does. It doesn't. I don't think it like gives you a double catch like wild bait or anything. It's interesting, too. Now there are several kinds of bait, aren't there? Like, you've got fish-specific baits. You've got deluxe bait. You've got regular bait. And you've got wild bait. So, really ump the ante on uh, different kinds of ways that you can fish for things in the game. And uh, I'm thinking... 
There might be some late game cheese that you can do just by sort of thinking through the items and what you can do, right? If you if you can make fish specific baits, which you can, does that mean that during the Oh, we got a dino egg? Are you serious? Let's go. Oh, that gets a place of honor. <laughs> do I have a table in my house yet? I don't think I do. Uh, if I had a table in my house, I would put it there just so I could see its beautiful presence every day. Oh, that's a, that's a great find. What was I saying? Anyway, yes. Yeah, so if you can make fish specific bait and you're in Ginger Island and you can get the fishing quest to like catch the the legendary fish like 2.0s or whatever. Okay, so here's here's my cheese question for those of you who have gone way far in the game cuz my thought process is wouldn't you be able to catch one of those, make bait and then like catch them more and then just dehydrate a bunch of them? for like crazy amounts of money like isn't that a, like you'd be able to do that right like that's a thing that you would be able to do because that feels a little broken to me as a cheese and i'm kind of wondering a nautilus fossil as well hey it's a good day fishing uh anyway yeah i just i'm just wondering if that's like a way that you can sort of like cheese the late game to make money that's what that's what that was one of my first thoughts when i was sort of like mulling over well how would you use a dehydrator and what would you do with fish specific bait and why might that be helpful and you know all those sorts of things in my head and i was like you know i think you can catch multiples of the 2.0s and if you <laughs> You can then just dehydrate them too, like... That could be some pretty good money is what I'm trying to say. That's all. You know? You could get some pretty good cash out of that. Also, here's the thing. I'm not sure how many summer rim river fish... Well, that, I don't even know what I tried to say there. Summer rimmer fish? What's a rimmer? I don't know. I said rimmer fish. Oh my gosh the river fish in the summer I'm there's not I don't think a lot of them needed in the uh, community center is there I don't think so now there are better items to give to our neighbor just north of us here but oh I missed her dang let's say uh driftwood is not a terrible gift for her Uh, because it just takes up room in your inventory at the beginning, and she doesn't hate it. So it's just a good way to get something out of your inventory, honestly. Does it really give a lot of friendship points? No. No, that's not why you do it. Because every little friendship point adds up over time. That's why you do it. You got 220 gold. Just go buy a salad at the saloon, and there you go. Bam! Emeralds! Let's go! What else can we... What else can we earn today by fishing? A Nautilus shell, a dinosaur egg, and emeralds. Pretty great. Now. In order to be able to utilize the dinosaur egg, we have to upgrade the coop twice. That's going to take a while. That will certainly take a little bit of time. What I'm hoping to get out of this fishing... Uh, is enough money. We might just save these chubs for energy, honestly. Uh, is enough money to get some uh, some cows. I would like cows. Just get a couple cows. Just two cows. That's all we need. We don't need a lot of cows. We don't need a ton of them. Just two cows. That'll be enough. Well, that pike was very feisty. Uh, two cows would be perfect, uh, but then you also have to get the milking bucket. Like, don't don't forget the bucket. You gotta get the bucket too. The bucket is another, you know, chunk of change there. And um, looking forward to uh, to having those things. And then you can when well, we can start making cheese. 
Cheese is always nice to have. It's great for energy. It's great for restoring health when you're in the mines. And it sells for a pretty good amount of money. If you are mass producing cheese, you can also age it in your cellar. The one thing that the actual game doesn't have that I love the mods for is cheese wheels. I would love to be able to make an entire wheel of cheese in vanilla Stardew. You know, I don't I don't think our fishing skill went up today, did it? Max. This might be the last one of the last casts here. We got to go back to the house. It is 11. It'll take a little bit of time to walk up there. And uh That'll be the end of the episode, sad to say. But once we get up there in between episodes, I am going to pause myself for a second in between recordings. And double check, I know a bunch of the other fish from the ocean bundle are summer fish, but I don't remember if they're rain requirement fish or if they're normal. So I'm going to double check on that. And also, before I forget about it, we're going to try and... Just do this real fast, because I don't trust... I don't trust the crows, but that makes me feel better. We should be... we should be covered. And grab our mayonnaise. Okay, and... ah, uh, we have a row that's ready. Uh, right, 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 right. Where do we put the row? It's over here? No, nope, it's over next to the thing. I got there eventually. Anchovy row. Mmm, that's gonna be great. Aged catfish row. Yes, we will sell you. Now, let me just look here. What fish do I need? If any. I don't need any in the community center? Really? Means we can sell all of them? Well then. Okay. While I... I'm, pretty sure it's fall. That's, I think, fall when it's raining. You guys are all summer, and I think the snapper is when it's raining, but I'll, like I said, I'll double check this. I think, yeah, these are all summer. I just don't remember what time of day. All right, well, I, even though I double checked, we're just going to double, 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 double check the discount double check of fishing. Okay, well, time to sell things then. Sell the pike. I'm going to keep the trout. We're going to sell the dorados. We're going to keep the chubs for energy. All right. Quick stack those. Uh, put that in there. Keep the chub for energy. We got to do some things with this stuff. I don't need the driftwood. All right, driftwood, I don't need you. I'm going to toss you. Let's go over here. We're going to put one of those in there. Quick stack. Now, is there anything else that we have? Gunther. Gunther can tell us. Ah, there's one. Gunther. Anything else that says Gunther? Gunther. Gunther, Gunther, Gunther. No, I don't think there is. Got a bonus driftwood in there. Toss the mountains in there. It makes sense, right? Because that's where it is. The mines are in the mountains. Okay, I suppose then we put the dinosaur egg in there for now. We can take all of those to Gunther. That'll be our energy for tomorrow, including this fish, because otherwise I'll forget the fish exists. Do that. How much bait? We still have 100. Okay. All right. Well, that's all great then. Perfect. Lovely, beautiful, amazing, wonderful. Say goodnight to the cat. Good night, tiger. Go to sleep, yes. Oh. Oh, something has rumbled into existence. There was an earthquake during the night. All right, level nine fishing. Excellent. We are almost to 10 then. And how much do we make? All right, so what made us the money there? Pike are good. Dorado and Pike about the same, okay. Well, they are the same, 93, 93 for golds. Sunfish, not really useful. Bream, not really useful either. But the pike and the Dorado is pretty solid, and that was that was nine of the fish. It's about that's decent. Decent. 
All right. Boy, this half income stuff is takes a little more grinding. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, everybody. We will see you in the next episode. Take care until then, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate your presence. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much for all of your lovely comments, and we'll see you in the next one.